not there. MDMA, right? Mom. At least that's what the internet says. It, it's not what you think. I, I oh, promise. really? Because I think my teenage son is dealing drugs. Possession with intent to distribute. And that is a felony. Penny found it. Do you know what would have happened to her if she'd taken even one of those? Well, I mean, she's eight. It's not like she's stupid. And what's your excuse? Ma'am, the motorcade for President Richmond's funeral is waiting. Of course. We are not done. Mr. President, here are the changes we made to your remarks. Go ahead, I'll get you. I'm sorry, sir. The printers are still down in the West Wing. Okay, good. Is that your eulogy? Tyler, yeah. I just made some last minute changes. Yeah, well, don't bother. You won't be needing it. Sorry, excuse me? I saw a clip of your interview online. My father fired you. And I won't let you use his funeral as some sort of PR stunt to make you look presidential when he thought you were anything but. Tyler, please, you don't understand. Just save it for your next interview. Tyler. He can't do that. You are the president. No, he lost his father. We will respect his wishes. Come on. Tyler saw the interview. He doesn't want me to do the eulogy. My father loved his job. And more than anything, he loved the people he worked with. He was always grateful to have allies across the aisle. And I know he'd be pleased to have one of those friends here today to say a few words. My father's Ready political to career began long. Must be a mistake. No one else is slated to speak. This person is someone my father spoke about with great admiration and respect. And someone we are blessed to have represent us during such uncertain times. Congresswoman Kimball Hook Stratton. Hook Stratton? So I think it was a good idea for him to tell the truth at the interview. This isn't good. No. This is what you get for being honest in DC. Opportunism. <sighs> And when he rose from those pine thickets of Louisiana, to the heights of power on the Potomac, my friend, Robert Richmond, never imagined that he'd be struck down by the enemies of liberty. And I am reminded now, more than ever before, that a country of the people, by the people, and for the people... She's good, I'll give her that. She's so political, she doesn't even seem political. May God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. I just got a call from Leo's security detail. Your son had them take him to 88 Hartford Drive. Okay, thanks, Mike. Mr. President. Galvanizing speech, Congresswoman. Something wrong, sir? No, not at all, Kimball. Republicans, Democrats, Independents, we're all Americans today. Isn't that what you said? Ever since that Elizabeth Vargas video came out, social media's been going crazy. A designated survivor, a designated deceiver. Hashtag bogus POTUS. That one's trending. Listen to this from the Washington Post. The Congresswoman's speech was inspiring, given that and the fact that Kirkman was fired. Is it possible the country is being led by the wrong designated survivor? <laughs>